Hi guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, today it's time for a little experiment. Now, since I'm gonna be moving in a totally different climate, I would really like my orchids to stay more moist than they do in bark. However, if I use moss, this will degrade pretty, pretty fast, so I would have to repot my orchids quite often. And I do want to try the clay pots as well, but as you know, roots attach to it, and whenever you repot, you're gonna seriously damage the root system of your orchid. Some orchids can be okay after this, but some are really not. So I've been trying to find a different media that would kind of be somewhere in between bark and sphagnum moss in the sense that it should hold enough water so I don't have to water too often, but also it will not degrade that that fast. So today we're gonna make a little experiment. We're gonna test three medias. The first media is the bark. This is the kiwi bark, which is supposed to last quite a lot of time actually without needing to be replaced. This is a perfect media for orchids. However, it does not retain too much water. If you live in a warm climate, yeah, you have to water pretty often. Also, it has that thing where the top stays more moist than the bottom because it is bark and it's not very absorbent like sphagnum moss. However, it should last for a few years. And here we have the famous Leca beads that everybody loves. My problem with them is that they simply do not wick water. I had an experiment with this one and the water stayed at the bottom and the top was dry pretty much just like bark. So really I didn't solve anything with Leca beads so I stopped using them. The third material we'll try is this sort of clay composite that I got from Orchitop. It's pretty much like Leca, but if you take a closer look, it is far more porous. And actually, by mistake, after I washed this thing, I used it in a combination, but the container that had this thing wet, washed, stayed moist for a whole week. So it got me thinking, what if this actually is water retentive? What if it is water absorbent, like sphagnum moss as well, but it is chunky enough to actually be as good as bark? So today we're going to make a experiment with these three medias. The first thing we'll do is test their absorbency. And I have here a pretty dirty tray, but it's okay. What we're gonna do is place a layer of water, not to the top, but just a layer of water on the bottom of this tray and come back tomorrow and see if these media actually wicked any moisture. What I'm looking for is a pot which is evenly moist from the bottom to the top. If I would use sphagnum moss with this experiment, I already know the result because I did it and you can watch it here. The sphagnum moss will completely be moist from bottom to the top even if the water is only at the bottom. However, these other mixes don't have this property. But what if this does? Because this failed. So that's what I'm gonna test today. So here we go. Here are the three little pots. They sit in water but not to the top. So theoretically, if these medias are absorbent, tomorrow I should have moisture on the top. The question is, oops, can you see that this already starts to absorb? Anyway, so the question is, which of these media is more water absorbent? Not water retentive, but water absorbent. We'll come back tomorrow and see the results. A little disclaimer, I've actually rearranged stuff a little bit because I don't have a perfectly straight floor. So this is less water. On this side, there is less water than on this side. So I'm gonna give this the fewest chances to survive. So I'm gonna move these two guys where the water is not so shallow so they have more chances and this guy way up here so he only has just a little tiny layer of water. Oh my god he's already absorbing. I think I know where this experiment is going. I did not expect this. How's the Leica? Not so hot. Alrighty but we're gonna give this 24 hours at least and of course the bark is not hot either. But Okay, let's see how these look like tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. This is the second day. It's really early morning, but I just really wanted to see how my experiment is doing. Plus, the workers are not at work yet. So, alrighty, let us see the medias. Now, this thing has stayed moist. And when I say moist, I mean soaked. Like, can you see the droplets of water? Alrighty. So, this passed the wicking and distributing the moisture test. Okay, let's look at Leca. It's pretty dry. It's actually bone dry. Let's look inside the pot. As you can see, it did direct some of the moisture, but not all the way to the top. 
and this is a tiny tiny pot so you can imagine that in a bigger pot I did have a lot of trouble uh, making the water in the reservoir go up this is one of the reasons why my plant my obsidian was killed in this media about a year and a half ago or two when I made the experiment I just don't remember the top did not stay moist it practically just stayed moist at the bottom and that didn't really help me and Jackie approves okay let's look at the bark as expected the bark did not wick anything this is why bark is used because it does not retain too much water it doesn't wick anything it is a media very well suited for orchids who would rather stay dry it's also used because it has this beautiful shape that does not compact it's pretty much like this one only it does not stay too moist Alrighty, I want to test the water retention now. So for this, I'm actually going to soak these two medias. This one is already soaked, but I will soak them for 10 minutes and let them dry. See if they dry evenly. Bark will not dry evenly. This is why you always have more water or moisture at the bottom of your pot than at the top. This does not happen with sphagnum moss because it is very water absorbent. Uh, but I want to see if this happens with this type of media and, of course, with Lekka. Giving Lekka another go. So, I will now soak these two guys. Okay, guys, I'm actually going to continue this video in a second part because I started it last week and it's still not finished. Uh, so, yeah, I'll add an annotation on the screen right now here when I'm going to finish the second part. So, you can see it if you're watching this at a later date. But, yeah, we're going to find out if this is the best media ever or not. Well, if you know me, you know I have some conclusions. But anyway, yeah, in a few more days I'll post the second part. Hope you enjoyed this. The first conclusion I drew is that it is very, very water absorbent. And this can be a good thing. But I will talk more in the second part. As I was saying, the experiment is still going and probably next week it's gonna be over. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up and a share if you liked it. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see daily orchid videos from me. Feel free to leave me questions or suggestions in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!